Today we're going to test out Odyssey. Uh, Asus Good Odyssey on uh, 1080p on my uh, laptop, which is some four, which has some 480 in it, and we're going to see how it performs. So, well, let's just start here. Let's see the settings. So we're sitting at 24 hertz. Imagine that. Let's uh, update a little bit. 120, that sounds better. So frame limiters, no. We don't want that full screen. Graphics is custom. <coughs> Everything maxed out. Uh, let's do depth of, uh, you know, I hate depth of field, just remove that. Um, yeah, everything maxed out, including um, these volume clouds. If you put this on medium and focal on, me on medium, you will get like, or low, you will get so much more frame rate. But we're gonna fully dump the maximum optimized setting. So let's put depth of field on there also and see how it performs, really. Uh, there's no DLSS in this game at all. Um, yeah. Don't ask why, it just is the case, you know. So, first one we're going to test out is Atlantis. Uh, can I just kill this? Holy shit. Oh my god, they're strong. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I forgot I was playing this game on hard mode. Um, let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah, Atlantis is one of the harder to run uh, areas. Yeah, that's for sure. It looks absolutely glorious though. A little horsey. The sound is a little bit like not loud. There we go. Oh, massive leg spike. Well, this is basically Atlantis. This is the more demanding area. So we saw it go, go low towards, like, what was it, 80? 90s? Yep, it's really, really demanding. Um, Actually, we can do the, uh, I forgot about that. We can do the benchmark that's in the game. Uh, you know what? Let's do the benchmark at the end. Because you probably have to go to the main page again. So, let's go to portals. And then we're going to go to Elysium. Which is another gold area. So, the last expansion in Odyssey uh, arrived with three gold areas. One is uh, the Hades one, the, the dark one. And Atlantis is one of them. It's the last one, I think. Um, the Hades one is the second one, but that's really easy to run. And this is the first one. 
Absolutely beautiful colors though. Look at that city. Like they did such a good job with Odyssey and designing everything. I think it's like straight up peak Ubisoft. I really wish Valhalla was more like this. Okay, let's get my horsey. And let's ride around here a little bit. It attacked here in the enemy place, so you have to fight there. Yeah, it keeps it keeps the frame rate keeps up like 120. It's pretty impressive to see. GPU is fully utilized. Wow. I need to stay hidden. Yeah, nice. Good performance. Um let's move on to portals and uh, let's go to this actually this one actually they added like a little while ago as extra content i think it was part from for hella launch or maybe a little bit later yeah i'm also going to benchmark for Hala. Which is the latest one. Mirrored comes out in a week, I think. A week or two. Um, let's go to Greece. So Greece is really demanding. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Okay. So this is like a really demanding spot and then it gets more demanding if you go into the night because for some reason torches in this game absolutely burn frame rate. See, like frame rate's way lower, and now if you put a torch, wow, it actually holds up. This literally destroyed the whole 2000 and 1000 series. The torch, the torch was so hard to render. Of this spot specifically, you would like struggle to hold like 60. I remember that. Well, it's uh, oh, it went bound to the 90s. Yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Yep, let's uh, do the benchmark. Uh, graphics. He plays these benchmark uh, like why did like where is it even? Um, maybe it's on the title screen. The loading of this game is so long. Now it loads to the title screen. Now you get this. Now it has to check your additional content. This is like really long. Even in uh, Phoenix Rising, it's even longer. Okay, let's start. Well, I hope they implement DirectX storage in the next Assassin Creed so you can actually like instantly load to places because oof.
So the hardest part about a men's market is when it flies over the first house in the market. That's where always the, uh, the frame rate will tank. It's that big building. Well, it stays pretty stable, so that's pretty impressive. Well, it's still like around the 100 FPS, so even with all the features on, even all like super high end, um, the fullometric fog uh, clouds and the fog like that shit eats so much performance but for somehow it seems to render perfectly fine yeah, it's 120 fps can we like change the sitting so do we have to call sleep call back i just want to see oh man the loading <coughs> Let's just try it out anyway, who cares? Uh, options, uh, graphics, and then we're gonna move this to medium, and we're gonna move this to low. No, 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 no. So low and medium, apply, and benchmark, and just see what the benchmark is gonna be like. So we have 120. It like dips to the uh, average, but then dips to the high 90s. So let's see if the performance gets way better now. If only the game had DLSS, man. DLSS on frame gen and this game will fly off the fr Like the frames per second will just fly up the charts. But for some reason they don't want to update these games. Well, they were really against DLSS because uh, even Odyssey, like DLSS was already a thing at that point. So DLSS, like in Valhalla and Odyssey were in the thing. So here we dip to the 90s. And now we're sitting on the 130s. This is what I mean, man. Like, yeah. And the GPU is not even fully taxated. So yeah, it's way less, way less stuff to render. I'm curious what uh, the frame rate is going to be. One thirty one. Hmm. The average isn't that much better, but the lows are way better, it seems like. Anyway, this is Odyssey. Uh, I'm gonna go forwards with Fahala and thanks for watching.